video games! We all know them. Not everyone! Hey, shut up! Well, I've played a lot of Thomas games because I like to suffer, and when looking into more games to review, I found a lot of weird Thomas games that I rarely see people talk about. I have found some somewhat obscure games to talk about for this video that I didn't really feel like could be its own video, so I just wanted to talk about them here. So if you're a fan of a lot of weird Thomas games and kind of cursed looking games, then this video is for you. So I'm gonna stop wasting your time and talk about some games. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. What a trash name to give a game. This isn't even really a, a name for the game. This is so hard to search for. This game was made for the ZX Spectrum and Amstrad CPC, and I absolutely hate this game. This game is extremely ugly, sounds awful, and for the games I played for this, they were all identical. I had one where I try to take the kids to the beach, but Duck and Diesel keep on killing me, then oh, I would almost make it through, but sorry, you're going too fast! Thomas, back to the start you go! Thank you so much, I, I really needed that. Then I did the hospital game, and that just triggered my PTSD. I couldn't do anything, there were rocks on the tracks, and they kept on moving every time I died. Why do Duck and Diesel hate me? Why does Thomas look extremely ugly? And why was I a very naughty engine when I couldn't even do anything? Zero out of 10, I hate this game. And I will only complete it 100% on normal mode if people want me to. Uh, uh but uh, easy mode, it was not as hard. It actually made it so much nicer of a game. Since I already hate normal mode, um, a lot. You would think that, you know, easy mode, eh, you know, might be up my alley. But it's still the same, just actually playable. So, uh, don't ever play normal mode, kids. Biggest mistake of my life. You know, you know actually, I just got a question. I, I got a question. Alternative software? Or whoever worked on this game? Why do you want kids and YouTubers to go through torture while playing this game? I don't get it. This just really hurt me on the inside. Please don't play this game. Boku no Densha number three, also known as My Train, is a Day of the Diesels arcade game. Take a look at the machine itself, it's actually really cool looking. It has a lever, this button, a touchscreen, and a card reader. You can get up to 30 types of cards and you can scan them in and you get to play the game. From what I actually can tell, it's basically just Toys to Life but with cards. The cards you scan make the game different, but not really by much. The card you choose doesn't affect the gameplay besides what the main character is and where the location is at. Every game basically just goes like this. You move the lever just in time, you press the button just in time, you attach the touch screen to answer a question. And yeah, that, that's kind of it from what I could tell. I doubt they thought that people would buy all of the cards just to play this game, so making you get basically the same experience for whatever card you end up with kind of makes sense to me. I mean, it's an arcade game. I can't really expect like too much from these games. As like a game itself, it does seem like it could kind of suck and like be really repetitive. Just having to press a button in time or answering a quiz just doesn't exactly sound like the most like amazing gameplay out there, but it's probably all right. It's kind of saved from its cool gimmick. And the machine, overall, I mean, if I saw that, y you know I'm gonna go see that. That thing looks super cool. Boku no Densha number three is honestly looking really cool. And if I ever saw one in an arcade, I would definitely play it. But like as a game itself, eh, you know, there's worse games out there. TV phone Thomas the Tank Engine of Friends is another arcade game. For its gameplay, you take your character around and you get to play some mini games. There is one where you can switch the points, one where you can put coal into Gordon's firebox, and if you select James you get a ton of which image is the right one type game. This game I found to be pretty fun to watch. I love the sprite art from the game. Like this driver guy who keeps on looking up, like that that's just an amazing sprite. Also we get this fun sprite of Topham holding a frying pan. I love this so much. I think the scene where Gordon just goes down the line and then hits this thing when he isn't even going that fast, and then we get this lovely image of Gordon here. It's so funny because of how slow he was going and then like the huge injury he's 
you stick in here. It's all just very cursed. If you ever get the chance to like find a YouTube video to watch this game, which by the way, I have the video I use for footage in the description in case anybody wants to see it, I definitely recommend that you watch this because it's just fun to look at, the sprites are nice, and overall it's it's pretty silly. It's probably not super fun to play, but it is definitely nice to have another sprite based Thomas game, and it's fun to watch. Waku Waku Thomas is another arcade game. This one's actually really cool though. You get to be inside of like a Thomas engine thing that they just set up randomly, and you get to like basically have the illusion of like controlling Thomas in the game. It's kind of cool. It's not like a first person thing. You just play a game that looks like this, but I just really like the idea of just sitting down in a Thomas. Like that, that's just really creative to me. I really like this game because of its huge tone shift like it starts off all nice and peaceful with a charming sprite art even if thomas's smoke box is uh, way too small here then thomas passes birdie and toby then we see percy and then he scream those rocks just freaking fell onto percy then thomas has to take these trucks and avoid the falling rocks with this super intense music playing then we go back to peaceful music of the game like nothing ever happened. Then he drops off the truck and goes to Tim Sheds with Percy there, and Topham, I'm guessing, tells him something like, good job, Thomas. Then the game ends. Well, okay, there's like another mini game where you get to like, go say hi to Gordon, but I wasn't exactly interested in it. It kind of just felt like it would make more sense if I actually understood what they were saying. That's really it for the game though, there really isn't anything for this game, it's kind of just like, hey, you get to play the whole game in one sitting, which is pretty cool and nice for an arcade game. It honestly kind of feels like a tech demo in a way, it feels like if they were to release this as like a, a console game or a PC game, that if they made it like more complete and everything, it could actually be pretty fun. The sprite art is really good in this game, and the whole like avalanche thing was cool to see. And the whole thing is played inside the Big Thomas, which I mentioned earlier, and it's overall just seems pretty fun, especially for kids. Waku Waku Thomas seems to be really fun, but I have not played the game myself, so I wouldn't know, but it just looks fun. So, my favorite game got a somewhat remake. Yeah, this is a little confusing. I originally thought that this was Thomas the Tank Engine 2 because the better graphics and overall better presentation. But no, this is just a remake of the game I just played earlier. This is Tom's the Tank Engine, but they decided that they could just basically remake the game from the ground up and then put it on other consoles and pretend like that first game never happened. Uh, and if I knew that, I definitely would have been mad that I just played one of the worst versions of the game I've ever played in my life. But also, glad because they improved so much on this game, just like the original game. The engines want to KILL YOU, but in this game, they have a warning system so you know when they're coming for you before they do. So this game looks like, really nice. I love the way this game looks. Also, the controls are so nice. It's very smooth and works very well. This game has a bonus game you can find while driving around the game. It's just the same game every time. But it is a racing game, and it's pretty fun. It just has you hit the button as fast as you can to win. I like the idea of just being able to go around the map and play a little mini game, even if it is just, you know, a, a race. Now, in case you couldn't tell by the stuff I already mentioned, this game is a massive improvement on this game. But it still is kind of trash in some areas still. Like, while the engines want to kill you less often, they still really want to kill you. It's so annoying. It can make it feel unfair at times, especially when the engines start cloning themselves. I saw like two Percy's and this James who was just minding his own business here. Also, something to talk about, which isn't really like a huge complaint or anything, it's just kind of weird. I don't know why the tender engines just don't have their tenders in this game. We have trucks and the coaches, so why don't just use like, you know, just retextured stuff for them? Maybe it would be harder because the tender engines have like a longer hitbox if you have the tenders I guess? I don't know, it's just really a weird choice either way. That's it for the complaints though. It's a decently hard game, which is honestly nice because we don't get those that often, but it isn't as unfairly hard as the first game, but if you don't like even a little bit of unfairness in any games, this game 100% not for you. Thomas's Pinball. This is another game made by Alternative Software. 
It's not anything like the other two games really, it's just pinball. Also, this game is just pinball, and I don't really know how to play pinball if I'm honest. I've played Metroid Prime Pinball before, and I love that game, but probably only because I'm a Metroid fan and it's pretty different from most pinball games. So for Thomas, since it does have Thomas characters, like this, this could be like something I would really like, but it's just really strictly pinball and I don't know, I just, I find pinball kind of be boring to me, it's just not my game. But this game is a pretty nice looking pinball game though. So for the boards, they all look really nice, with Thomas's board probably being the best. The music is really nice, touch, but for whatever reason, Toby's theme is on James's area, and James's theme is on Toby's area, which is kind of weird, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. The pinball controls pretty well, and the things that you use to hit the pinball are pretty cool. I didn't really make it that well in pinball, but it has some cool things to it. It's basically like what you'd want from a pinball experience, I'm guessing. But Thomas's pinball, if you like pinball, it's a good game. But if you don't like pinball, there's like no reason to play it, you're not missing out. Well, that was some obscure Thomas games. I, um, I feel a little mixed about one, but overall these were pretty interesting to learn about. And I hope you enjoyed learning about them too. If you want to subscribe, that'd be cool, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.